Hello everyone, welcome back to the Mule channel and I'm doing a review of IDW 100 page giant transformers. It's $5.99 and it's called The Power of the Predacons. So these, this is not new stories, these are older stories. So it says, um, throughout time the Predacons have proved again and again to be some of the biggest, baddest, meanest Cybertronians around. Prepared to be terrorized by this collection of the Preds' finest moments. Collected from Transformers UK 135, 136, Transformers UK Annual 1, sorry, Transformers UK Annual 1987. Beast Wars, The Gathering number 1, Transformers Spotlight, Jazz, and then ever before republished Transformers Dawn of the Predicus 2016 BotCon exclusive comic. Um, so to talk about the comic, like it's it's a big one. I know this one has some damaging there. Um, <clears throat> it's a big one. So it's yeah, it's pretty thick. I think it's good. I think it's a good book to pick up if you're a Transformers fan to add to your collection. Um, I don't think any of these stories are in uh, paperback form. So, um, so here's kind of a list of the stories: Spotlight, Jazz, Dawn of the Predicus, Beast Force: The Gathering, Number One, What's in a Name, uh, Grudge Match. So this first story is about. Um, this is the Jazz Spotlight comic, and we have Bumblebee and Cliff Jumper and Trax. Just talking. So Trax is telling a story about how um, Jazz saved him. <laughs> Look how badass Jazz looks there. That's awesome. So Jazz is uh, doing a rescue mission on Trax, who's got uh, optics damage, so you can't really see what's going on. There's a helicopter going to come in to save him, and bam! They're blown up. Who are they? Who? What, what happened? Well, it's the Predacons. And here's their names, if you didn't know. Headstrong, Tantrum, Razorclaw, Dive Bomb, and Rampage. Megatron's Elite Squad. So the art is fantastic in this it's jazz. So if you like jazz, this is a really good story for to get. Or a book to get. Because uh, jazz plays a big role and he's really freaking cool. Like he steals that guy's sword. Taking apart Predacons. Then they go on a chase. Tracks transforms. Takes out one of them. Then we have Razor Claw and Jazz in the final fight. Like really good art. This is amazing. And then they get saved by Ironhide and is that Prowl? Who is that? Nope, Ironhide and someone else. And then they get back to uh, base. <clears throat> this is a good moment here. It says, uh, Trax says, excuse me, sir, the bot that saved me, do you know who he is? Ironhide says, yeah, kid, he gave me a message for you. He said to tell you that he was just an Autobot. Just like you are. I never f I forget what that means. Yeah, it's Autobots. They're the good guys. They don't want credit. They don't want credit. They just want to do what's right. There's Prowl. Talking to Jazz. Oh, hey Prowl. How are you doing? Hmm, pass. What's just something that might cheer you up? Yeah. Yeah, Trax is just telling everyone a very interesting story. Ah, yes. The one about the mysterious Super Autobot who took on all five of the Predacons alone. And then they kind of funny, like, kind of disperse everyone. And Jazz says, the situation we're in now, it's almost... 
Yeah, he, okay. Listen, tracks. everyone is really bad shape at the moment. I've been doing my best to keep spirits up, but it's hard, you know? Yeah. Situation we're in now, it's worse than most of us have ever seen, and I'm straight with you. I'm starting to get myself a little scared. That's what I'm trying to say is thanks. So it's just a really nice jazz story. Look at that. Jazz is awesome. <clears throat> and then we move into uh, this um, Predacon story. I didn't really get this story. Like, I'm not huge on the Predacons. You know, but the art is good and we get... It's just weird, like, current Transformers meeting the... Beast Wars <laughs> meeting, or was that, yeah, the Beast Wars meeting, like, you know, this Megatron version, where he's like a dragon, and then the Predaking is there, I believe that's the Predaking, yeah, and, you know, just left, I'm gonna skip some... This is the staple page where we get kind of setting the scene of the Beast Wars. So it is a really cool page. I, I remember the Beast Wars TV show. I always watched it. I, the visual the visuals weren't good. Like this, how people look here look better than the, the TV show. But, you know, I loved it. I really liked it when I was on TV. <laughs> And then, um, yeah, I'm not so sure. I'm not so up to date on this version of the Beast, uh, kind of the Beast Wars, Transformers with, what's his name? Meg, Megmatron. But anyway, in this, so in this uh, issue, the Maximals are being kind of awoken. Um... Like, we get one of them right here. Spear, what's happening? Uh, maximal. It's a Maximal. What? That's impossible. Unless, hey, where do you think you're... And then, uh... Razorback? Is that what it's called? Razor something? Razor Beast. <clears throat> It's a warthog. Turns into a polar bear and then he destroys this frog. That's funny. Look at this. I'm not too aware of this uh, this edition of Transformers. I, t I must have missed it. I grew up in the 90s, but I, didn't, I don't remember this for like... It looks badass, though. Full page spread of Magma. Magmatron. That's cool. I don't really remember that series, but... Let me get some old comics. Transformers 19... Oh. Transformers UK 135-136. Where, uh, Swoop... Um, says how he got his name. So he used to be Dive Bomb, but then he fought Dive Bomb. And Dive Bomb kicked his ass. So that's why it says what's in a name. Because Dive Bomb kicked his ass and then uh, Optimus Prime had to save him. Um, you get it. The Predacons at a circus. This is like mid eighties, I think, like maybe eighty five, nineteen eighty five or so. UK comic. <clears throat> then the uh, Dinobots show up. So Grimlock's there. Look at this. Dinobots against the Predacons. They have big explosions. They're still talking about how uh, Dive Bomb and Swoop are going at it. They've got like a rivalry going on. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Grimlock. But though Rampage may seem to have the upper hand, Sludge is simply too stupid to admit defeat. He'll wear Rampage down. I love Grimlock. So funny. Look at this. He uh, transforms. He picks up a sword that's on the ground. He clipped his wings. That's fine. So he says, um, so Die Bomb says, wait, you don't see you're being used? Oh, yeah? Grimlock says, oh, yeah? Yeah, Swoop couldn't beat me himself, so he's doing the dirty work for him. That's so. He said it before. I bet you told him he beat me last time. Well, he didn't, and I know what really happened. Look at Grimlock, like, choking him out the back. Oh my god. Grimlock picks up a a stone and he's gonna fucking destroy him. And then uh, the Predacons got away. Grimlock says, I still don't know why he had to let them go because I want to start clean. Next time we clash, it'll be a whole new ball game. And we'll be playing on my terms. First, there's a certain battle Sabatron I wanted to tell you about. So, that's interesting. So, yeah, it's just a collection of maybe some unreleased Predacon comics or related content. I really like this first story with the Jazz Spotlight. Um, that's really cool. So, that's the Transformers 100 page giant for $5.99 cover price. From IDW. It's a thick, very thick. If you like Transformers, I think this is uh, the one for you. It's a good pickup. It was released uh, yesterday. And see my other videos on my channel, as well as my website, the mule.net. All the links will be in the description. And thank you for watching. Bye bye.